Hello. <laughs> Hello, Benny. The game doesn't capture me for some reason. Hey, Aura, thank you for the sub. Modelli love, Modelli love, Modelli love, Modelli love, Modelli love. <laughs> thank you. I'm trying to get the game to capture because it's not. It doesn't want to capture. And I'm not sure why. Let me see. Maybe if I do. Why is it not here? <laughs> Just chatting stream. Um, for a bit, maybe. Uh, the game is working. Like, I have it here. You can hear it. Uh, it's just not capturing on stream. Which I'm trying to fix. Let me actually... And Christmas song? Oof. Um... Let me... <laughs> Let me try to figure this out first, and I'll do a Christmas song. Happy 1st of December, thank you. <laughs> We're doing it? There it is. better than yesterday. Yesterday I had a bit of a, a little bit of a migraine. But it wasn't too bad. to check the volumes because it was a little bit louder than I wanted to be and I'm not sure if that's just the intro because I tested it with the menu sounds and this seems fine but the intro was pretty loud still I guess we'll have to see when we go into the game um, but you wanted a Christmas song. Um, God, what Christmas song? Let me think. Because there's quite a few. There, um... Migraines are the worst, that is true. <laughs> One of my best friends is having head surgery today. Yeah, I hope everything goes good as well. That sounds... Uh, pretty bad. But I'm sure it will be fine. 
Surgeries are scary, but they should be pretty uh, safe these days, most of the time at least. Um, kind of want to do last Christmas. But I don't know what else is there. I don't know it very well, <laughs> so it would just be... This is... Why can't I think of a Christmas song that I just want to sing? Maybe I could j just do a traditional one, like Jingle Bells or something. <laughs> Last Christmas? Okay. Oh, wow. Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Uh, and, my oh god, how does that... Because I have the lyrics right here, but I can't remember how it goes exactly once. Once bitten and twice shy, I keep my distance, but you still catch my eye. Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? Well, it's been a year, it doesn't surprise me. Um, I, yeah, I can't remember the, how it goes exactly, but I try my best. <laughs> I, I hope you liked it anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, back to the game. Let's... Go, I guess. How do we start? Oh, there we go. Years, Years have, have passed, passed since, oh. since the great warrior and like leader it. of men, Aramis, vanished. Left behind were his mighty gauntlets, artifacts of untold power, giving their wielder the strength to move mountains as the stories were told. Also left behind was his daughter, Gali. She discovered her father's gauntlets, setting in motion the events that would make her a target of great importance and bring her into the company of her greatest defenders. Nolan, the wise and mighty wizard, whose tongue is as sharp as his wit. His mysterious companion, Calabretto, a war golem of immense power. Garrison, a swordsman, once brother in arms to Aramis, now sworn to protect his only living kin. And the rogue, Red Monica, who can be foe as quickly as friend. Together, they have traveled the capital lands while defending Gully from those who seek the power of her gauntlets for themselves. Nolan 
on a personal quest to learn more about mana, which fuels the world's magic and technology, has led the group towards a mysterious landmass known as the Crescent Isle. There, vast reserves of mana were once rumored to exist. As they approach the island, they quickly discover why so little is known about the area. Okay. So I'm guess I'm guess we well I'm guessing we're playing as that group of people. Wonder what happens. And there we are. Made it? Or at least I did. Reto? Harrison? Please be nearby. Okay. It's a bit. I don't know, it's a bit stuttery. Is there a way to. Seems a lot better. Okay. Oh, well, we've got a lot of things. We've got some stat statistics here, got some items. Just have some potions right now. Journals empty. So you have the fists and then just some armor. And when you have crown smash. Okay. We can fish. Wow. It's gonna take some time. <laughs> gonna be fishing a lot. Debris. No, there you are. You're awake. Reto, you're all right. Yes. Are you feeling better? You've been resting for a few hours. I guess I wasn't completely prepared for that cannon blast. Was I dreaming or did you leap off the ship to catch me? I did. How'd we make it down in one piece? 
Nolan, we fell through a portal he opened, placing us on the ground with only minor injuries. Then what happened to him? We don't know. And Garrison? Monica? I do hope Nolan is alright. He seems cool. Garrison fell through the portal as well. Monica appears to be missing, along with Nolan. Then let's get moving. They could be hurt. Garrison already went ahead to search for them. Are you sure you're well enough to move? I'm so woozy, but we don't have any time to waste. I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll First be fine. To further don't worry about wounds. me. Then we will... Okay. Okay, so we can swap between them whenever we want. So far, so good. This game is beautiful, I love it. What's that? It's an ooze. It's a slime. I should be telling you that. Okay, so we have jab and defend. Got a shot and protection, which costs mana. What does this do? Can I? Oh, there you go. Uh, deal 16 damage to the target and 8 damage to nearby enemy. Okay. Well, let's just jab him. Punch. Ooh. Obliterate. Deals 22 damage over 4 hits. If sundered or bleeding, the enemy takes an additional 7 damage. We just gut punch. Yeah, let's gut punch first. Bam. What have you got, slime? That's fine. Obliterate. <laughs> Threat eliminated. Nice. Got some XP and some stuff, some slime, some parts. Oh, it's a bit stuttery again. I don't know why it stutters like that, and then sometimes it's very smooth. Completing a dungeon will cost time to pass. Interesting. So do, do we have time-gated things? I'm sure they're fine, but we should hurry just in case. Acknowledged. Wait, so which way did they go? We go this way. Your dead meat. Can you do scatter shot on that? Oh, that's takes a bit. Okay. Maybe it set that in the tooltip and I just re didn't read it. That happens. And let's just obliterate this. like Christmas? Yeah, I, I like Christmas. It's a very nice time to spend um, 
It's a very nice holiday to spend time with the family. Uh, it's my favorite festivity. Well, I, I guess it would be Christmas. Yeah, I think that would be Christmas because there's just... It's always a nice time with my family and then getting presents. All that. I guess there would be a crafting system in here. Because these seem like crafting ingredients to me. I don't understand why this game... Maybe it's the... Um, V-Sync. Yeah, there you go. Worn letters on top of on the top of this sign read Talent Crossing. The plank pointing east says High Lake Village, with the message "Not anymore" carved cryptically into the wood directly over it. The rest is damaged beyond readability. Hmm. Well, I, d I don't seem to be able to craft anything yet. Oh, the, the health carry is over, so I probably have to, to heal. hurting the poor bats i mean they're protecting treasure i need the treasure now i got some new armor it's less damage with a lot more health and defense it actually yeah okay it's only for Gully. Everything for treasure. Oh, there's a uh, friend, but there's a spider on the bridge as well. I'm not sure if obliterate will do enough damage. I don't think it's worth it doing. Uh, I should actually change my camera position. over there oh, thank you for the hydrate Bennett Gully, I'm glad you are right hey Garrison what you did during the airship battle shielding the cannon blast you would have done the same for me Maybe, but with messier results. 
You're a brave kid, but remember, we don't fully understand the power of your father's gauntlets. You have to be more careful with them. I had no choice. No, I guess not. I believe he was trying to thank you. Mm. Thank you, kind of brother. Have you found any sign of Monica or Nolan? Garrison has nice muscles. He does. He's a strong boy. Have you found any sign of Monica or Nolan? And this village looks long abandoned. There are lights on the horizon to the east. Might be a town. We should investigate. If they survive, they likely headed that direction. What do you mean if? Nolan saved us. He can save himself. And Monica too. Yeah, Nolan will be fine. You're probably right. Let's go find them. Thank you. Gonna go have a nap. Enjoy the game. Thank you. Have a nice nap. Okay, now we've got a party of three. Let's read this. A handwritten journal entry is scrawled on parchment. General Xavier returned from the... Xavier Savior, maybe? Uh, returned from the main front last night. Because he came in darkness, few got a good look at him, other than to say he seemed well. The war wars everywhere have taken their toll on the outpost, with ranks thinning and our defensive practice and practices becoming lax. I'm not sure Ravenheart even bothered to take his patrol last night, but then he always did seem the lazy sort. That should change with Xavier stalking the halls once more. Roses are red, violets are red, everything's red, holy shit the garden's on fire. <laughs> Hey Kai, thank you for the bits. <laughs> uh, Carlos. I don't know who Carlos is, but we read his letter. Overcharge. Overcharge is displayed in red next to your mana bar. It's generated by using regular actions. Overcharge is consumed in place of mana and used for bonus effects and certain abilities. It goes away after combat, so though, so make sure you use it where you can. Okay. So that's also what he gets from Gut Punch, right? Yeah. Carlos is in Resident Evil 3. I don't think it's the same Carlos. Uh, 21 damage. Ooh. Pretty good. Cleave. 18 damage to 2. Consumes up to 40 overcharge, dealing 44 damage. And adding 0.2 to damage for each overcharge boost. Wow. This guy does not mess around. And we unlock some new stuff. Let's see. Quake Fist. Twenty nine damage. Nice. Uh, also fast. I'm assuming. Okay, so these are instant, and this is dependent on. The speed of this. Roses are brown, violets are brown. Who pooped in my garden? <laughs> I don't know who pooped in your garden now. Uh, might have to go look for that. <laughs> they shouldn't poop in your garden. How am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm enjoying this game so far. Seems like a, a game I can really get into. Nature's Poon for the next three turns. Anytime an ally receives damage, they are healed for 3 health. 
Three health doesn't seem amazing. How much was it? This was one in one of the humble monthly bundles. Um. So not much. <laughs> you got a well handle. Uh, road sign leans, precari leans precariously to one side, reading north, harm's way, south, wilderness. <laughs> Fine. I knew I had to go north. I wanted to go south to explore further though. <laughs> Let's fight this bat then. Let's do scattershot on the bat. And you do cleave on him. And you get punch. Ah, so close. So close to killing both. Arms away. I don't know if I like the name for the village. <laughs> I see a few lights, but no people. Where are they? Let's bang on a few doors. Uh, I guess we can bang on a few doors. The door to this oddly shaped hut is locked. Strange tinkering sounds can be heard within. It's locked. The tinkering continues, but no one answers. A drink, friend. Ooh, let's chat. Where are we? Miss the sign on the way in? You're in the town of Harm's Way. Don't worry, the name's more bark than bite. And that's a relief. What tavern is this? The disemboweled traveler. Half pint or full? Great. <laughs> why, do, why do they have those names? Uh, Granny's Batwing Pie. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to buy anything. Just yet. What'll it be? Stay thirsty. Okay. Altered bestiary. Well, well. We have fresh brand of adventure. Band of adventurers loose here in the Vale. Experienced ones, no less. We've seen our share of battles, and you. <laughs> I have, though by the way you hold your blade, not the same kind. Let's just say my foe are the wilder kind. The name's Raha, Beastmaster Raha. As I see it, the only foes worth fighting are the untamed kind. And lucky you, this island is littered with them. So we've seen. <laughs> and the slimes and bats in the woods around town? No, you're in for worse than that. We're here looking for lost friends, not hunting for trophies. Trophies, Indeed, many get lost on this island. Rescue mission or not, you could use some basic advice to survive here. Take this bestiary journal, track the creatures you've fought. You'll find doing so reward you with insight into their strengths and weaknesses. Survive long enough and I'll point you towards the more worthy tests. You find, may find it necessary when searching for your friends anyhow. Search will be brief, we'll make sure of it. 
then we'll be gone as quickly as we arrived. I've heard that before. Don't get killed, adventurers. Be You'll be back. Well, thanks, I guess. So we've got a bestiary now. So if we kill enough of these, then we get to see their stats and stuff. Which would make it easier to see, like, if something would kill um, the creatures. Well, I'm, I'm glad you like my voice acting. <laughs> I'm not sure how good I am at it. Okay. Uh, the Book of Secrets. A well-made sign hangs from an oiled gargoyle at, on the door. It reads, out to lunch. I'm not going to rip the sign down. That's rude. The Collector. Um, I. <laughs> Booty Blade. A lucky blade of the high seas. Wielders claim they sometimes happen upon, upon extra treasure. Increase the gold found in combat by, combat by 20%. What is this currency? He sells some interesting things, but I don't know what he wants for it. I haven't seen that before. Go. Okay, now let's go to the actual quest thing. Smithy. The heavy iron door, radiant furnace, and proliferation of metalworking tools strewn about tells you this must be the smith's shop. All the massive doors are open. Smith. Hey. Ooh, big guy. Who the hell are you? That's a rough way to greet strangers. Burr. Being strangers, you don't know how rough we get around here. I suppose we're gonna learn quickly. Hey, skin's got to be thick to survive in a forsaken land like this one. And your hammer better be heavy. Speaking of forsaken land, how did you lot end up here? We came in on an airship. As we approached, pirates ambushed us. Sounds right enough. Though not quite pirates, as you say. Bandits. Simple as that. Hmm. Just thugs full of hot air. But they've been a right pain in the ass recently. Bandits. Who do they work for? Well, being bandits. Themselves, mostly. They definitely had a very big ship for bandits. Well said. They're acting differently the last few moons. Less scatterbrained. More organized. Yeah. Definitely. There's a few of us left a bit worried. We were separated from some friends during the battle. We think they may have them, or know where they are. We'd like to chat with them. Yeah, chat with the bandits. <laughs> chat. A few weaklings came by causing trouble last dawn. Chased them off down the south road. You can head that way, if you think you'll find your friends. If we don't, they'll regret it. Keep your head up. They must have a camp down there somewhere. Come on in. Uh, well, let's chat. Avoiding the southern roads, are you? We'll head there soon enough. As you say. Interrupted by okay. goodbye. Um, do we have to go south? Can we go this way? Check the gate. The lock gate might as well be solid steel wall without the gate, without the key. Yeah, I don't have the key. Okay. Can we go east? Can. You're telling me I can't, so let's just try to fight some things. Nice. 
Easy, ne? What was that? Cannon fire. Get back. There is a cannon emplacement on the ridge to the east. We cannot go any further. The risk is too great. Damn. Okay. So now it's stopping us. We can at least kill this slime. have to go south. What is this? A flat, round machine sits quietly in the earth. Dust and dirt are spread evenly across its surface. Turn it on. Nothing happens. Hmm. Knock again. The tinkering sound stops briefly, replaced by a few curt answers or something? I don't know. Calibretto knock. The door nearly flies off its hinges. What's the meaning of this? Oh my, a war golem. That is almost fascinating enough to warn my time. Being fascinating is a requirement. Yes, now please stop knocking and go away. And I expect you to buff out the damage in my beautiful antique entryway. Well um. Very rude, is he? I mean, I guess we did knock his door down. But he wasn't answering my knock. Not too bad. Some more bats. Uh, you know, just jabbing. Nice. We can actually see the HP on the bat now. Almost a fair fight. More spiders than that.
And so far the battles have not been very difficult. But I'm assuming that will change. What's this? The gate is locked, the woods beyond grow dark. Well, this is where we need to go. There's a strange campsite just off the road. Investigate. Oh. An actual area. Barricades in the middle of the forest. Someone's here. Yes, we should pre we should proceed with caution. Camp. Looks like someone was here recently. The smell, the smell is certainly flat, fresh. The bandit Grimbeard drove off. Ambush. Oh no. Fuck the messenger and an armored eviscerator. We can see his health. But he's not targetable by single target abilities. I'll just start with a cleave then. It's hard. Um, obliterates. Uh, you do quake fist on this guy. Swift strike. <laughs> I did say the battles would get more difficult. Oh, what was this one? 34 damage increased to haste for all party members. Let's do this. Kill him? Probably not. Probably not. So let's do Quake Fist. This letter he was carrying has a seal. Must be important. What does it say? Hard to tell. It's half smeared with in blood. It does say outsiders, which must be us. Also references an outpost. The smith in town may know what that means. Why do I feel like this is going to get complicated? Because it is. <laughs> if it didn't, then the game wouldn't last very long, would it? Outsiders just arrived, found in Warrior's Rest, Outpost, then we can move it to the southern... Okay.
That's a serrated blade. 10% chance to make the target bleed for 17 piercing damage over 3 turns. And also some extra bonus damage. It's not as strong as the other or it doesn't give as much bonus damage as the other weapon, but it's stronger in general. Oh. Is that for you? So you lose some defense, but gain a lot of attack. Yes. Okay. Get some new equipment. Every point of stamina grants five health. Okay, that's good to know. So what abilities did we get actually? Barrier swing. Use 24 damage converting 75% of the damage into a damage shield. Apply to the most damage hero at a time. Oh that's nice. Thank you for the hydrate Kai. Wildfire. By 8 shots, hitting random targets for 7 damage each for a total of 58 damage. Ooh. Very nice. And Rage Wave. It's all enemies dealing 32 magic damage. Hmm. Those are some strong attacks. This bat just doesn't stand a chance. Poor guy. It's slime as well, it's not gonna live very long. Nice lurk, Bennett. The door stands surrounded by moss-encrusted ruins. A thundering swamp lies beyond. Approach the door. Oh. This gate is pretty big. What are they trying to keep out? Or in? Either way, I doubt we're getting it open. At least, not yet. Yeah, you may be right. Can we look around though? Is there loot? Is there loot to be found around here? There is. And there's something behind there as well. I guess we can't open the gate just yet. Can we fish? I don't know how to fish. So we have a fishing rod. Maybe that will be explained later. But it's like certain areas where you can fish.
So he has a dash. It can be useful. I'm just exploring a lot. <laughs> With cleave, just enemies next to the target. I guess it is. I thought it would be just everything. Oh no, it's just one nearby enemy. I guess I misread that, we just forgot. The bridge gate appears locked from the other side. Visible through a crack in the wood is a large tent hiding among the thin trees. You hear faint sounds coming from that direction. Bang on the gate. No one notices the racket. Bang on the gate. No, okay, never mind. I don't think we can get through there. Do we just go back to the village and talk to the smith? Interrupted my work. I believe we found the bandit you chased out of town. In his possession was a letter we were unable to fully decipher. Hey, let's have a look. There, yeah, ink looks fresh. Says something about an ancient weapon. Anything else? Outsiders arriving at the island. Likely to uh, complicate things. Outsiders? Does that mean us? Yeah, it's hard to make out entirely. But it speaks of the iron outpost. That can be sure. What's that? And where is it? Yeah, where is Mightiest it? Mightiest military fortification south of the snores. Long abandoned. But bandits have been going in and out a lot lately. Skies know why. Gate north of town is locked to keep people from wandering that way. Here's the key. Well, you look likely to survive. But, just in case, I've got a fine weapon or two for sale here that may come in handy. If the talking turns to fighting. Some Sounds of those good. Are after, and have useful wares as well. You might ask around, see what you can find. If they answer your knocks, that is. Yep, I'm still here. Upgrade. Well, I can't do that yet. Introduction to blacksmithing. These are slightly better than the ones I currently have in terms of like stamina or damage and stamina. But the sword would not have the serrated blade. This would not have to crit. I think it's not worth it. Maybe this is. Um, basic blacksmithing. Be careful. So did we not already get introduction to blacksmithing? Uh, do I choose? 
Oh. Reinforced war gun plating veils, crabs, tunic. Okay, so now we can actually make stuff. Make stuff ourselves. Um, I guess we buy this as well. Who are you? Keep them sharp. Okay. It's a lot of things we can do right now. Or that we, we could do if we had the mats for it. <laughs> we don't. Need a lot of iron ore. A drink, friend. What'll it be? Um, should I sell this? I might as well. I don't think I'm gonna use this anymore. See you back anytime. Hmm. Here you are going beyond the north gates. Maybe you aren't as boring as I thought. Take this flask. It will bring anyone who is fallen in battle right back up. They are limited, but should ensure you live long enough to pay me another visit. Hmm. Come, Come in. in. I suppose. I suppose, yeah. Okay. Let's chat. You aren't that interesting. Come in. Wow. I suppose. Uh, recipes for basic mana flask and flask of strength. Yes. I'm just going to get all the recipes. Let's get a small bottle, why not? Very. Cheers. Okay. We don't have a lot of materials yet, but we do have a lot of recipes that we can craft once we get the materials just a dead end okay <laughs> cutting you down The ruins just off the road here. And they look mi military. This must be one of the iron outposts old way stations, which means the outpost, outpost is nearby. Should we search it? Doesn't seem like the highest priority. Hmm. I still want to search it. <laughs> The gate grins at you wryly, appearing to wink with one its, its one smoky eye. Is that thing looking at us with only one eye? There's no obvious way to open it. Like some sort of riddle. Whatever the case, we can't open it now. We'll have to come back. Right, maybe we can find a way to open it around here. Who's this? Tent Crusher? Looks like a strong guy. Well, there's a way of finding us. Well, it's here. You're too late, though. Or what? 
Haha. <laughs> the dead will be the lucky ones. Okay. Guess you'll join them then. Oof. Strong guy. I think I gave him a damage shield. Uh, is it this one? Warblade, yes. Quake Fest. Uh, you use Healing Wave. Going down. Um, I'm, it's good that I healed him. <laughs> it's good that I healed him. Oof. That's what you get. Knockout gloves. And people on this island are strangely cryptic. He was here looking for something. If we don't find Monica and Nolan soon, we're going to get dragged into it. That does seem likely. Yeah, it does. Let's find them. Put some iron ore. Um, less defense, but we do get stunning blow. Seems a bit weird to take off the gloves that Or what the story is all about. <laughs> I guess there's nothing I can do here. Uh, just a second. I thank you for the hydrate, Kai. I just need to check something. Yeah, everything's fine. It's just my mum messaging me. Oh, 10 iron ore? If you make those into 
Wait. Oh yeah, yeah. We can make this. Or not. We have the materials. Can we only do it at the blacksmiths or something? Not sure. I'll figure it out later. A ring. Bonus damage and haste. Uh, I think I want to give that to this guy. Because he's not very fast. I was thinking he would hit the spider, but no. Maybe I should have hit the spider, then it should, then it would have been this one for sure. Oh well. This platform, did we not see a similar looking device on the outskirts of harm's way? Seems useless. Hmm. I don't think it's useless. They seem like something that would activate fast travel or something. Well, that one's dead. No chance. More iron ore. What is this? Oh. that. We heal him back up. Boom. We got a shield. Okay. Oh yeah, he does have a shield. And then rage wave. Boom. You heal yourself and you do scatter shot on this bandit. Lovely. That was good. 
Vented cannon. How does that compare? So it doesn't have the crit, but it's just better in general. I think I'll take that. Good thing I defended. Let's do healing wave. You do core blade. Yeah. You do pretty well. Like that. <laughs> Everyone leveled up, so everyone's healed. Great. One more. What are these machines? Maybe it's not fast travel. Is there very close by if it's fast travel? You might as well. <laughs> just <laughs> you guys just defend. <laughs> Much overkill. Another vented cannon. I guess we can sell that one then. Tolkus Arena. By the swords, do we have new challengers in the arena? Arena? This is Bloodsport Ring? Of course it is. This is Tolkus Arena. Most arenas died with the old ways. How does it still exist? I prefer the old ways as it would happen, and no one has been able to stop me. I am the master of games, Lyco. Here you are challenged to fell as many be opponents as possible before the sands of the hourglass have fallen. For those who survive, I offer rewards and acknowledgements. What kind of rewards? Ah, you're getting ahead of yourself. Not only are you new to this island, but your skills need sharpening. As I can tell, there are no simple challenges in this arena. I believe you are unaware of our past. Be that as it may, Wargolem, you must spend more time in our land before you gain entry. You can speak to my... the Beastmaster, Raha. She has a temper, but can help you find prey that will sharpen your swords. 
you and the Beastmaster appear related. Yes, very interesting. Now I must bid you farewell. I hope to see you back again. Okay then. Doesn't let me find an arena. All this loot. I'm loving it. Uh, we already have that. Okay. At least we have some stuff to sell now. It might be worth something. doesn't stand a chance. Oh, just a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't actually tried this one before. So let's do that. Almost a fair fight. Almost. The Iron Outpost. Oh. Though in ruins, the former scale of this mighty fortress is evident. Nature has begun reclaiming the old stone and the smell of moss weaves with a salt breeze swirling around the entrance. Now crawling with bandits, it's time to figure out what power is drawing looters and criminals to the ancient site. So we have normal, we have heroic, we have legendary. Dying on this difficulty will reset the dungeon. I feel like I want to try heroic at least. Can I uh, save? I think it auto saves. Because there's only a save and quit, so I'm assuming it auto saves. Let's do heroic. Let's see how that difficulty is. If it's not too bad, I might try legendary. This is the iron outpost. It's well lit for an abandoned outpost. Our approach hasn't been subtle. We should be prepared for resistance inside. When are we not prepared? That's true. When are we not prepared? Silly robot. Javelin. <laughs> 
So far this seems like a decent difficulty. Not bad. There's a spider. Don't fight me, spider. If you got not much. <laughs> yeah. We got another ring. I can give that to Golly. that way or what is this oh there's fishing can I choose what enemies are nearby well I want to fish so hide me Vented cannon. Don't mind if I do. Now can I fish? Uh, fishing is a fun, relaxing activity and it can also bring in its own special rewards. Just make sure you have a good rod and lure equipped from the fishing section of your companion. Walk up to the edge of the water and cast your line. When you have a fish on the hook, pull your rod in the opposite direction of the, uh, the fish is swimming in order to wheel it in. Be careful not to pull in the wrong direction or your line may break. Okay. Okay. 
Come on, fishy fish. We got a turtle. We got medium fish chunks. Did we just chop it off right away? Poor turtle. Come on. Ah. That's a bit far, maybe. No? Got it. Damn you fish. I'll get you. Come over here. There you go. Spear minnow. Oh, this is nice and relaxing. Any tank tentacled shell? Okay. Because this is one of those as well. Oh no, it's Mr. Krabby. Getting a lot of different fish. Fishiary, okay. okay. We've got a sea spear minnow, sea turtle, Mr. Krabby, and a money tentacled shell. Another Mr. Krabby. Fish, go oh, get get it. No, not interested. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not interested? He seems pretty sure. Maybe if I go like that. Yes. Come to it. Get it. No, he's just swimming past it. <laughs> Damn fish. Why don't you want my my bait? Ah. There you go. No, come over here. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Scooter. Scrap early test prototype to create sea based infiltration mechs. Mechanical fish. But it still gave me fish meat. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. No. Come on. Yes. Oh. Jump, jump. 
a unique fish said to be able to speak. Unfortunately, it died when you pulled it out of the water, so you can't test the theory. Where's a few shadow coins to the fishmonger? Oh. Nice. Just one more fish. Get over here. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. What is this? Worth four shadow coins. Um, five large fish chunks for one shadow coin. Twenty small. For one, ten medium. Okay, yeah. I'm guessing the shadow coins are the ones the collector wants. Handwritten journal entry is scrolled on the parchment. Other grunts have been talking about uh, uh, talking up the general since his return, jammering about how he's different. I haven't seen him myself yet, but they don't know what uh, they don't know what I do, what real wars do to a man, given time. You've seen some action here, but it's always been safe in, by comparison. The iron outpost has gotten so built up over the years that even if someone did breach the outer walls, they'd got lost inside. Hell, it never seems the same twice to me, and I've been here for a decade. Maybe it's just madness settling in. Still, I can't blame Xavier for being, for being different, if he is, not after what he's likely been through. Regardless, if I don't plan to find, I don't plan to find out personally, I'll keep my distance. Carlos. So their leader seems to have changed or something. Uh, an exotic plant boom, blooms elegantly among the rubble, unlike any other you have seen. Looks like you could take an assortment of petals, leaves and fruit from it. You wish to remove them? Yes. I do. A motivator? It's his own friend then. It's pretty silly of him. Tried a femur with everything, and no results. Humerus did not work with any fruit or leaves. Definitely not petals, not petals, definitely not petals. Fruit didn't work with the skull either, but didn't try others with it. A pile of bones lay precariously on the ground. Among them are a femur, a humerus, and a skull. These look like they've been treated with something that makes them only useful for alchemy. Okay, got some bone parts. Find a small alchemy station. Someone was using it recently as our ingredients scattered about. What do you do? Read the notes. Uh, the new assistant is quite irritating. 
I've been sending him a collection task just to keep from hearing his obnoxious singing. Seriously, who sings to themselves that much when they're working? I doubt he has the faculties for real alchemy. Good news, the new assistant is gone. Bad news, the concoction didn't work. I tried using a humerus combined with a pedal. Unsure about the mix, I gave it to my assistant and he promptly fell over dead. At least the singing stopped. <laughs> Exhausted, tried almost everything, but I think I've got the base working fine. I have enough for two batches, but hopefully I'll only need one. I'm going to try using a femur from the local wildlife combined with a fruit. I'm guessing that will work. Here goes hopefully something. The rest of the journal is seared and unreadable. I inspect the table. There uh, this appears to be an alchemy workstation designed to make something very specific. You know, it's an incomplete ingredient list that requires both a plant and a bone part. There are scorched flower petals scattered on the table. Create a potion. We've got a femur, a humerus, and a skull. More petals. Fruit didn't work with the skull. I didn't try others with it. Tried to femur with everything and no results. Humors did not work. This fruit or leaves. Femur combined with fruits. I, hmm. Carefully you lower the bone into the mixture. Nothing happens for several seconds. Suddenly the mixture bubbles and changes from orange to black. Rumbles and lets out a belch. It stops, stops bubbling and turns blue. It sort of smells like soap now. Um, what if we put a leaf in there? You take a plant part out and cautiously approach, approach the mixture with delicate precision. You lay it on top of the mixture. Nothing appears to happen. The plant part falls to the bottom of the mixture and dissolves and changing its color several times. You take the potion, drink it and it tastes delicious. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is that good? Did I do good? Uh, General Xavier has uh, returned from the main front last night. Before he, uh, because he came in darkness, few got a good look at him. Other than to say he seemed well. Uh, the wars elsewhere have taken their toll in the outpost, with ranks thin thin and thinning, and her defensive practices becoming lax. I'm not sure Ravenheart even bothered to take his patrol last night. But then he always did seem the lazy sort. That should change with Saviors talking halls once more. Oh, I already read this one. Why did he leave the same note twice? Silly Carlos. Really going for him. We're fine though. It's 
just a motivator. We'll be fine. So it's fine. Yeah. Oh, I can actually craft stuff here. Um, so I kind of want to make this, I think. Either that or this. Oh, I don't have bone chips. So I can't make it yet. You know what, let's just make this. Oh, I have to hold it. Nice. Um, let's do some of these. Okay, so now you just need hardened leather which we need bone chips for, and then um, some broken Lyslot fangs. Whatever those are. Oh god. Hello. Um... Person, uh, should I use a revival flask? I think so. Well, maybe not yet. doesn't mess around. Okay. This is the first fight I'm not sure I'm going to win.
Oh my god. That treasure elemental does not mess around. Holy shit. What do you need? Let's sell some of these. Oh, he didn't actually equip the. I'm a dumbass. I didn't equip the Interrupted armor I made. My work. Interrupted my work. Yeah, I'm the boy. That would have helped. Greetings again. Yes, be careful. Well, let's head back there. So the fights are actually becoming a lot harder now. What if we just avoid that one? Just keep punching. Let's try heroic again. Continue dungeon. Let's see if. Should I try killing the treasure elemental? I still have the green liquid, but I don't have. Wait, can I get more from this? No. Okay.
Is that treasure elemental? No, it doesn't look to be here anymore. The general is a man of glory, truth be told. I, like the others, feel drawn into the wake of his power as he strides by. Ravenheart slapped me this morning, saying it was just the armor and to keep my distance from him, saying that Xavier has lost his way. Ravenheart is a fool. Why can brothers never get along? His jealousy is transparent. The general went to battle a man and returned as more than that. It's blasphemy to sh suggest so, but he's like... Uh, something. Nope. Uh. That was faster. Gonna punch it though. <laughs> Motivator, two of them. They're really going for it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. And they leveled up, so the full health again. What are the new abilities? Removes up to two debuffs from a single ally. That would be nice to get rid of poison and stuff. Taunt. Draw the next three attacks to Gully, reducing the damage of each by 10%. Generates five overcharge and an additional five when attacked. It's not bad. And Sting. Deals 11 damage and generates 20 overcharge. Applies a bleed. Dealing 20 damage over 3 turns, stacks 3 times. Ooh. Making things bleed. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. 
careful about these traps. Anything I can interact with in between? No. Just those barrels over there. Didn't actually get hit by any of them. I finally ran into General General Xavier myself today. After all the chatter about his change since returning from the front, I was convinced it was blown out of proportion. Now I'm not sure it was taken seriously enough. He returned a new armor. I hesitate to call it armor because it felt like something more than that. The way it shone even in the dim torchlight of the outpost's lower, lower halls was unnatural. I'd say it made my head hurt in some way, but that was probably the, uh, the hangover. Probably. Does he have like mind control armor or something? Wait, I got a flask from that. Restores a lot of health and mana. Nice. This one, I don't know what it does. Maybe I should try it, but probably not on one of these. nice oh armored eviscerator so this is the one that returns yeah deals damage to attackers let's start with gut punch break fist you do uh, mm, probably just swift strike. <laughs> Swift strike, you heal. Probably do a taunt. A new war blade. on most tank buster what does that do uh, not 
the gunner. What the bat? This one. Increases physical defense by 2% for all heroes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ghost Iron Ring of Blades. I guess you are getting this. Since you don't have a ring yet. Um, so, oh, the door's over there. Guess we'll have to wait for this one to pass again. There you go. Right over there. Oh, I could have just... Okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> An oddly glowing pool pulses with dark energy. You make out faint glimmers of some sort of treasure in the middle of it. What do you do? Just reach for the object or let's inspect the pool. Notice that some corrupt dark energy periodically expands and retracts. Though it follows a rhythmic predictable, predictable pattern, it still makes you feel uneasy. You reach for it. Definitely you snag the treasure. Okay. Uh, we've got Nature's Touch, which increases stamina. It's the one I gave to Gully. I don't think anyone else needs that. Let's go over this way. I haven't actually been this way either. Oh, this. Oh, God. This is a big place, isn't it? Oh, hello. It's a brawler. Start with the motivator. You do sting. Next time he goes. Make fist on the baller. Sting on the actually warblade on the brawler. Good punch on the brawler. Put some more knockout gloves. Uh, so there's a 
that bandit over there just sitting against the... But he doesn't care that I'm fighting this motivator, I guess. Is he a friendly bandit? I doubt it, honestly, but who knows? Maybe there are friendly bandits? There, store your weapons and we'll have no quarrel. Not much of a fighter and more more of a gambler. Find it it's faster and less bloody way to earn gold. What do you say? Want to try your hand with Lady Luck? Just a simple coin flick. A coin flip, nothing fancy. Odds are 50-50. Swear on my honor. Do I attack him or just gamble? Um Boom, I win. Give me my gold. No, attack him. It's a fight you want. Can't say I didn't expect it. Get them. Yeah, let's get this guy. Glad I cleansed that. Another rage wave. You healing wave. I don't think that's fast enough. Obliterate is pretty fast. We'll see if Gunny gets back up out of combat. Or if we actually need to use the item. Seems like she does. Cheater's ring. Actually use this on uh you increases gold found in combat by 10 percent can we equip two rings no just the one i don't think that's worth it then shortly after the outpost was complete the true scale of the mana reserves on this island became evident 
Vansler knew his small outpost would need to grow into a full garrison if his valuable operation was to be adequately protected. Though the name never changed, the Iron Outpost became a massive point of military operations in the area. The halls became vast and winding, taking shape around the nearby foothills, often burying through them. The number of soldiers stationed there grew exponentially, and the influence of, the, of their population soon became evident elsewhere on the island, as new towns and camps cropped up throughout. The indig indigenous population was small and still weak from their struggle, struggle with Varus, offering little resistance to the change. I like the little lore tidbits. We did a little bit of damage and stunned them by doing that. That's very nice. Um, let's start with just a jab. And sting. Double bleed, lovely. The train. Jump. Sting again. He's just gonna die from the bleed. Thank you for the hydrate aura. How was your nap? When the dark one fell, the veil knew peace for a short while. Few felt any reason to revisit after Varus was defeated, for nothing of value was known to exist anywhere on the island. That all changed abruptly when the mana wells were discovered. King Vansler, still young in his years, realized the importance of the discovery and quickly sent an attachment of his best troops to the island. Their mission was to begin the construction of a coastal outpost that would serve as Vansler's main stake of claim to the new frontier. The work was slow at first, as local wildlife, some fed by mana, harassed workers and caused delays. Once the first and most basic, basic walls were complete, the outpost so soon became operational. Couldn't fall asleep. Did get rest anyway, I guess. Yeah, even if you don't really sleep, uh, you can still get some rest just by not doing anything and just resting your eyes for a little bit. Find me. Um, let's do nature's boon. Let me start stinging this brawler. Hope you're feeling a, a little bit rested at least. I'm just beating up some bandits. As you do. Oh, this, that's always nice. Um, 
Barrier swing. Obliterates. This stacks up to three, right? Yeah. Well, let's do this. I'm gonna nap yesterday, but make this thing. Of doing it to the sound of Simon and Tom playing a horror game. Yeah, that's maybe not the best. Maybe not the best. No, golly. Avenged. Nap and Simon screams woke me up. Yeah, they'll they'll do that. They'll definitely do that. Oh, epic plating. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I've I've gone to sleep before with um some like D, D show in the background or something and the dungeon map nice um and then when it normally before i fall asleep i manage to turn it off or something so that it doesn't continue playing but if i then if i don't then at some point i'll wake up to some sounds and i'm like what even what is this? What what is happening? <laughs> it can be very disorienting. Uh, no, use the healing thing on yourself would be a good idea. And then you do wildfire. You're fine. Don't worry about it, Gully. You'll be fine. Boom. I really like the graphics of this game. It's very clean. Hero perks? What are hero perks? Perks. Oh. Six points remaining. Reinforce knuckles. Haste up. AP up. Scattershot 2. Initiative. Critical retaliation. Oh, and then there's Avenger and then there's Guardian. I feel like I want to be, um, make Gully defensive. Oh, wait, I. Using defense reduces damage taken by additional 
face to face chat, evade chance by 1.05. Let's do this. So it's extra defense and more reduced damage when using defend. And you, at the end of combat, heals garrison for 15. Don't really need that. It can be nice, I guess. Raises the amount of overcharge that can be consumed by Warblade. Begin battle with 10% extra attack power for one action. I think having just more attack power. Sure. What is Wonder? Rally crits, it will award an additional 20% haste. Increasing the amount from 10% to 30. Yeah, I think I'm just going Swordsman like that. Um, so this is for his healing powers. Heal self for 41 over 3 turns when struck by a crit. Increase haste. Heals the most damaged ally. 23 over 3 turns at the start of combat. At the end of combat heals the party for 12 health each. Now that's just a better version of Garrison's thing. Obliterate will also do bonus damage if the target is ignited or poisoned. Uses physical and magic defense by 4.6. Uh, defensive matrix grants an extra 5 overcharge when hit, making it 10. Increase crit chance. I think recuperate will be nice to have. As you approach the fountain, a disembodied voice speaks. Care for a riddle? It asks. Hmm. Sure. Let's hear it. What is as soft as a feather can cut through rock and always chooses the easiest path? Air? No, would be water, I guess. I can cut through rock eventually. Sometimes. Water. I just didn't see water as being soft. But that is just me. So can I try that again? Notice it wasn't the fountain, but a goldfish that was asking you questions the entire time. My friend, I see great turmoil in your future, it says. You need all the help you can get. It swims away out of your sight. A nearby door opens. What? What door? Um, 
grab punch into cleave and scatter shot might kill not quite like the recuperate just that little extra health at the end as time wore on other conflicts around the world for forced Vancelor to restructure his allocation of military resources the iron outpost was one of the first mil major military installations to see dramatic drops in troop numbers this also coincided with a sudden decrease in the available mana in the area. Many of the mines and wells became inefficient or simply ran dry, making the decision to de redirect troops elsewhere an easy one. As this happened, smaller factions began vying for the scraps of mana still available on the island. What happened to the mana? Feel more powerful. Intent overcharge each turn for three battles. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Starting off strong, are we? Let's do this. And then big fist. Not bad. Decades after its construction, the final order. Um, oh, thank you for the hydrate, Yoda. Decades after its construction, the final order was given to abandon the iron outpost completely. M remaining mana on the island was so scar scarce that no major operation could be viably sustained. The conflicts Vancelor was dealing with elsewhere became full-blown wars, relegating the once critical island to obscurity. As military forces withdrew, the original inhabitants were left to fend for themselves, often contesting with criminal forces, hoping to uncover and extract any remaining sources of mana, no matter the cost. As this happened, major communication lines with the people that were there were essentially cut off, creating the air of mystery that currently defines the, the land. Hello. Oh. Getting some nice stuff here. It still this says there's a chest there. Maybe I should check it out. We do seem a little bit stronger now. Maybe I'm going to die again. <laughs> Am 
Where's this chest then? Is it just gone because I've been there before? I guess it is. I tried to fight it before and now it's just gone. That looks like the symbol for like a mini boss and this is boss right i'm assuming feels like it boss a few ships came by came in by sea tried anyways we took care of them pretty quick the boys pulled a few survivors out of the water we'll bring them your way when we can seems they'll be useful for whatever it is you're doing i don't want to know we're still digging through the outpost, trying to find the thing. Be a lot easier if you told us what it is. Meaning, no offense, in fact. Forget I asked. Guess I could just cross that sentence out. And this one? Nah. We'll take payment the usual way. Last batch was too fermented. By the by, gold was just fine, though. What are they doing here? Let's drink. Nice. Also for three battles. I'm getting buffed up. Oh. Hold there. You will go no further. We can end here if you tell us where our friends are. Dead, certainly. Not. They will be after we kill you. You shouldn't have come here, outsiders. These bandits thinking they own the place. swing on the rogue yeah that heal on it is very good when when they hit many times um, wildfire or gut punch first and then no, I think wildfire is a good one anything scatter scatter shot on this guy well good punch this isn't too bad
No goo darzies. Compared to... Um, more attack power. I think that's good. He's more of a t an attack boy at the moment. Oh, that's a nice chest. Look at that. Don't mind if I do. Ow. Ow. the fast travel thing. I don't think we need that. I was expecting better from that. I guess we're going into the boss. Which is good because we still have the buffs. So the bandits activate this thing and then we have to find it. Blade Fiend. You can't hold back. You don't have to tell me that. I'm not gonna hold back on this thing. Oh. Burst. Attacking, healing and taking damage all build up your party's burst bar. Once you've built up a full charge of burst, any one of your heroes can expand your charge to unleash your own unique burst ability. Which is... Heart bleed? 55 piercing damage and cause the target to bleed for 28 damage over 3 turns, ignoring damage mitigation. I actually want you to do swift strike first. Yours. It's a 38 damage shield on the whole party. While the target remains shields, their attack power will be increased by 10%. Not bad. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of want to know what his is before I. No, actually, I'm not going to use it. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's good then. This is a heal. Uh, so you got punched. First of the blade deals 5 piercing damage each time the target is hit during the attack. Oh. I don't like that.
Warblade. Obliterate. Okay, we can do shield with assault again. I don't think I need to do that. I think we're going for the bleed next. Break this. Boom. Uh, you gut punch. Give him that thunder. You hard bleed. So far, this is going quite well. I'll we'll try it again. Oh. said that and then that happened. Um, come on. That the curse was gone by then. <laughs> no blade shard, coast iron broadsword. That's good. The blade they pulled from that thing was an artifact. This is more than some bandit screwing around. The bandit who got away dropped this insignia as he fled. Have you ever seen one like it? No, I haven't. It sounds like we're paying Grimbeard at least one more visit. Yes, we are. Hmm. Dungeon complete. Red Rusty Blade. Well, I guess we're getting out of here then. Let's see up a bit. So you get this thing. You lose a serrated blade, but that's fine. Um, and we open this. Oh. Well. Guess you're just getting a better one. <laughs>
just on our way back to town. Screen by accident. We're back into town. Uh, let's go to the collector. Let's sell this stuff. I'm not sure if I should sell the other one. Something interesting. Selling the cheater's ring because more gold might be useful at some point. Yes. Oh, you're leaving. I'm glad to see you around again. I have a proposition for you. The sewers down below town have been infested with spiders. There's a sewer below town. Sure is. It's one of the perks of living here. What makes you say it's infested with spiders? Lots of folks have gone, gone down there and they either come back covered in webs or not at all. If you could clear it out for me, I'd be real appreciative. We'll see if we have time. Speak to me again whenever you're ready to venture down there. Green. Okay, that's a thing we could do. Half pint or full. Stay a while. Be well. I'm green. Stay thirsty. Hello, Alify, and thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, I'm still here. What does upgrading do? This game, I remember to have amazing artwork. Yeah, I really like the art style. You there, you look like the type that can spare some change. Upgrade my forge and I'll sell you the finest weapons and armor in the land. Sure. If only everyone appreciated blacksmithing as much as you, the world would be a better place. Who are you? Can you give me some, uh, some cool stuff? That's pretty good. Diplomacy. <laughs> Make peace one way or another. Who are you? <laughs> You're back. I need to go back and Such play this game properly sometime. Yeah, it seems like a game that you would enjoy, probably. You're back. Such a treat. 
This insignia was dropped by a fleeing bandit. Is it familiar? Yes, sir. From the Iron Outpost. Not a military mark. I can't make heads or tails of it. But Quo might. He's a strange one, to be sure. Most likely to know of anyone, that said. He hasn't had much interest in speaking with us thus far. Hey, me as be. But now you've got something interesting to discuss. That's true. Yes, we do. What could go wrong? What could oh. go wrong? Um. Interrupted my work. Okay. Yep, I'll be here. But what if we learn this? Uh, I need to. I need to be at the workbench to do that stuff. So what is this? Because I don't want to rip down the sign. something interesting while at the iron outpost we witnessed bandits pulling a sword from a pile of armor that pile of armor then promptly came to life and tried to kill us ah uh, yes quite fascinating what an artifact can do especially to other artifacts <laughs> what do you mean other artifacts what are you trying to say about me i mean just that i think you would like this sort of game <laughs> That was no ordinary set of armor you battled. It was an ancient artifact, once worn by a lieutenant, cursed with power by Varus himself. Oh. Who is Varus? Just your run-of-the-mill archmage turned crazed imperial, infused with the power of a blood demon, long since dead, or at least disappeared. Oh, so he doesn't quite believe he's dead then. Run that bias again? Your drink on my behalf. Thank you, Alibi. I'm no historian. Learn more on your own, if you must. Forget it. The bandits, they may know where our lost friends are. And if they have an artifact, where can we find them? If they found your friends, they'd be in Junk Town. Where is it? To the east. Junk town. Straight east, nearly. Only, <laughs> there's a small problem. Yeah, the cannons out there. Other than our friends who are missing, and my patience wearing thin. A bandit cannon blocks the yeah. lone road going east. You'll never get past. If you try, I'll be sure to swing by and collect what's left of you afterwards. <laughs> I'm really not very good at controlling my temper. Now, now, there is another way. If you can get the blink station working again. Are those the teleporter A thingies? teleporter of some kind? Yeah. Yes. It can teleport you deep into the rushlands. A dry and rough place. Hmm. Nasty. Absolutely love the style of qual. If I had to do cosplay, that's what i choose. I know, right? Looks very... <laughs> I don't quite know the the word for it. <laughs> I mean, cool is a is a good word. Um, yes, it can teleport you deep into the Rushlands. Through okay. it, you can approach the cannon from the south and flank the cannon. Monocle on top of a mask, yeah. That's, Once it is disabled, that style right you there. You can access Junk Town freely. The blink station. How do we fix it? Down the east road, just north of the cannon emplacement, is Banog Cave. Inside is a mana core. Right. Grimbeard has sworn he can repair the blink station if someone were crazy enough to fetch it. Um, you definitely look crazy. He's he's right there. <laughs> Go get it. Bring it to him. 
Maybe he'll be bored enough to fix it for you and blink you down to the rushlands. Okay, we. Uh, this conversation is no longer interesting. However, your interest in alchemy is. Our um, what? Alchemy. Why else would you have gone to the Iron Outpost but to gather all those wonderful alchemy ingredients? Well, to, to go and get the artifacts and things and, and find our lost friends, mostly. My alchemy table is yours to experiment with. Just clean up any messes, of which there will certainly be many. Goodbye. Oh. Okay. At least nice in Ooh. his own way, I guess. Um, so we can craft flasks. Maybe get some more revival. Oh, I can't. I need to faint condensed mana. Oh, uh, let's make one of this. Yes. What happens if we upgrade you? My, my, it seems like you've been to a lot of terrible, a lot of interesting places l lately. With some investments on your part, I could bring better goods to bear. What say you? Yes. Yes, yes, excellent. You won't regret this decision. Return here in a short while and reap the benefits. Something interesting? Okay. Well, I don't think he has new stuff just yet. Something in your leaving. But he is definitely flexing his fanciness, yeah. <laughs> Turned out to be as capable as I hoped. Let no part of the hunt go to waste. You can use materials you find from various beasts to craft various things. I've been out hunting too. Have a look at my shop to see what I've captured for the day. Maybe that you have a use for something I found. The day for hunting. Oh, hunts? What do you sell? Oh, all these fangs. I needed those for something. Greetings maybe again. I can get what is train? I can't give you any training at the moment. A okay. warrior's greeting. Chat? Kill more talk more lads. Talk. Fine, okay. Hunts. Don't think you're ready more for that. Talk. Wow. A warrior's greeting. Uh wait. Oops. Welcome. Speaking of redheads. <laughs> okay, let's A buy those. Till the next. So I think I can craft something with them. Um, but before we go, get that mana crystal. What you needed me to go into the sewers. Lovely place. Someone was studying something here, but it appears they left in a hurry. Hmm. Where could they have gone? There's a spider. Oh. Even though he turned around. When we went down, he just saw me anyway. Punch. Spiders? I mean, they're pretty big spiders. I'm not normally scared of spiders or anything, but a spider of that size, I, I wouldn't want to meet. A series of complicated pipes work to move the town's water supply. Since you know nothing about plumbing, you decide it's best to leave it alone. Probably best, yeah. Anything in here? Oh. 
Sewer pump gate key. This appears to be a makeshift sleeping area. Why anyone would sleep down here is a mystery. You can hear faint sounds from the tavern through the nearby sewer grate. Um, oh, didn't mean to click it again. Spider. Damn. Yeah. Stunned him. No problem at all. Spiders aren't so tough. Why does every enemy here have to be a spider? Because we're clearing a spider inf infestation. <laughs> Literally, why we came down here <laughs> is to kill spiders. <laughs> would be a bit, a bit strange if we were went down here to clear a spider infestation, and there would be no spiders. <laughs> Could be some weirdo who calls himself Spider <laughs> and his brother. I don't think that's like they, the tavern guy said that people came out of the sewers like covered in webs and stuff. I don't think some weird guy calling himself Spider would make actual spider webs. Maybe I'm wrong. rights exist like I don't I'm, I'm not saying that spider people don't have rights to exist it's not at all what I'm saying I'm just saying that the the tavern owner would probably not have sent me down here if it was just a crazy guy calling himself spider Let's give Start Strong a try. But yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you would do that. Oh. Defiled Blade Splitter. Look at this thing. This guy is getting very strong. 
Getting all the upgrades. All the upgrades. Okay. 56 damage. It's just his normal attack. What the hell? Oh, I got Siphon. 28 magic damage to all enemies. Restores 47 health from each enemy that's bleeding. Oh. <laughs> that's a bit overkill. Gaia's Fist, Guard Punch. Hmm. Let's see. 36 damage and reduce Gully's damage taken by 10% for 3 turns. Not bad. Um, 39 damage applies Gaia's Grasp on the target for 3 turns. Any allies attacking a target with Gaia's Grasp will be healed for 32 health. 32 is quite a lot. That's pretty good. I like those. Um, so we can give you Berg, maybe. Power of heals increased. Just haste. I think I want to save up some points. For you. Yeah, I'm going to save up points for critical defense. Actually, let's do this. Because I don't actually use the defend action that much at the moment. So not getting hurt as much by criticals would be nice. Hello. That's a big spider. Very big spider. Um, guard punch. And then you guys fist. You just do a normal attack. <laughs> Spider gone. Ow. And it's a bit overkill, but I kind of want to overkill. Oh, well, that works, I guess. I wanted a bit more overkill. Spiders! I stunned two of them. Wildfire. You do heartbeat. Nine 
95 damage. Very good. Scatter shot on this. Very nice. Um, good job. Let's do a healing wave. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, I thought it would hit that guy as well. I guess that's too far away. Three of the big spiders was a bit rough, but we did it. Okay, there's nothing over there. Can we inspect this crate? No. Treasure. Turn the palm on. Well, water in town is now drinkable. Nice. So I guess that's the problem fixed. Maybe. I assume that was the problem. all the spiders maybe we should talk to the barkeep about uh, there being signs of someone living down there because that's weird oh. yeah nothing like a hard day of work at the disembowel disemboweled traveler to shake off the Agreed. dust okay Wait, did it not solve the problem? A drink, friend. Come on in. Guess not. But there wasn't much else to do here, was there? human skeleton. There don't appear to be any broken bones or signs of trauma anywhere. He or she may have died from starvation or illness. Well, it doesn't... It doesn't help me at all. I assume that since I 
killed all the spiders. Oh, hello. There's one more. Uh. Well then. That was a spider. I believe the spiders have all been eliminated. Nasty work, but Dogen should be happy. Maybe please leave. Why the hurry, big guy? Don't appreciate the scenery? I don't think uh, anyone appreciates the scenery of the sewers, really. I don't really like being in the sewers myself. Well, actually, there may be some people that do like sewers. There's always someone. You're back. What'd you find? A lot of spiders, like you said. We cleared them out. They shouldn't be a problem anymore. That's fine news. Fine news. Hey, drinks on me. Here you go. Thank you. Do these do. Increase attack bar by 40 for a few battles. Will we leave you tired once the effect wears off? Um, restores 24 health each turn for a few battles. Not bad. So this is the well. Drink from the well. Nice. So where exactly is it that we need to go? Need to repair the blink station using mana core. So there's one in Bannock Cave, east of town, and north. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's the lock. Yeah, okay, I remember. That's the locked door that we couldn't go through. Right there. Oh, getting extra XP. Is that from the well or no? So close to killing them. He really just hits so hard. It's amazing. Why don't you just crit? Come on. Shouldn't be that difficult. You open the tunnel cave. Enter the cave. What a lovely cave. Um, is there a map? No. I guess that's only in dungeons or something. Uh, hello? A lesser mana elemental. 
Well, at least he's lesser. Physical damage taken, 2% per stack. We'll gain a stack each time he takes damage. Oh. Well, that is pretty good, actually. stops or this goes away before the fire. He'll just die. Oh. Let's taunt him for a little bit. Per stack is 36 plus 10, 46% extra damage. Mm, this will be enough. But do I want to? I want to overkill more. I want to overkill more. I'm greedy. Did I not get an overkill bonus? Wow. Rude. A mana elemental. That is quite unusual. Something on this island is stirring up trouble. Forget the blacksmith. Let's try dropping the mana core into the blink station ourselves. The less we need the townsfolk, the better. An interesting thought. I agree. The station was in the southeast corner of town, near the lake. Let's go. Are you sure we should take matters into our own hands? I don't know if that's a good idea. There are claw and bite marks on the cover of this book. Perhaps it was used in self-defense before the author died. A few notable excerpts. Door has been in disrepair for decades, perhaps as old as the Iron Outpost. Something odd about the place, as if there were another world beneath this one. Maybe it's my imagination. Runes. Something deep. Needs something it responds to. The rest of the page has been nibbled and eaten by small animals. The mysterious obelisk hums with magical energy. It must require something of astonishing power to use it correctly. Hmm. Do we have something of astonishing power? I mean, apparently not, because we're not getting an option, but... <laughs> if only we did. Oh. Rock crusher fists and a chrome cover. Chrome cover for you. Lots of haste. Very nice. And then you. I mean, it's less defensive, but. Or le no, less stamina, less health, but more defense, actually. And also 60 attack power. Pretty good.
anything else around here? Doesn't, doesn't look like it. Okay. I guess we're getting out. So do we just, yeah, we just go to the blink station, I guess. Yeah, okay, so now we can go over there and approach it from the south. Let me first um, go back to the blacksmith. There's work to do. Yep, welcome. Sell this. Sell this. Um. Come on, be it. careful. There's work to do. Right, back to it. Just get it. Why not? <laughs> mm, that lights not careful. Detecting arcane energies in the vicinity. That's probably what killed these lights lots. They're all surrounding that tent over there. Maybe someone needs our help. Come on, let's go. Hello? Is anyone here? Visitors out here. Where'd you come from? My, my, where are my manners? I'm Mercury, the Enchantress. And greetings. May I inquire as to what you are doing out here? I was collecting materials in the Pass of Fangs up north. Not as friendly as I remember. I had planned to use the West Bridge, but something destroyed it after I crossed. And the Blink Station? Well, that's been dead for years. We were able to repair it. Really? Well, aren't you be the resourceful bunch? Did you kill the Lysolots nearby? They got a little too curious for their own good. I gave them plenty of warning, of course. They're awfully ferocious, how'd you manage that? I have my secrets, just as you do. Still, I'd be stuck here if it weren't for you. Allow me to teach you some basic enchantments as a repayment for your kindness. Come see me in harm's way sometimes. I have more tricks up my sleeve. Oh. Enchantments. Firebrand has a 10% chance when attacking to deal an additional 20 piercing magic damage with each hit. Which is all defense by 12. Not bad. Um, let's go check down here. We're cutting you down.
no chance. Again, just one. Do they never learn? I think we're getting health back by just doing this. Okay, what is these? Ah, nice ones. There they are. Well, it's just one of them. You taunt them. Uh, rage wave. And you do... Um... Nature spoon. Should be fine. Let's get out of here. East Hunter. What does that do? Use experience earned by 5% for all the arms. Not bad. Not bad at all. Probably should take um, be, be careful about approaching it from that side. Get out of here, bat. Did I miss this one? No, I haven't been here. Uh. Another one of those. Good fight. And you 
do a cleave, sure. Rid of the spider. Okay. What's this? A shrine? Regenerate health in combat. Very nice. There's a tent here. Tent's eerily quiet. A scrap of paper is pinned to the flap reading Gone Mining. Pull the tent back. Tent is empty, okay, well. Kind of expected, I guess. Treasure. A ring from a group healing flask. Uh, what is this ring? Physical defense, magic defense, and stamina. I think I want to give you this. Pass of fangs. I want to explore a bit more. What is this? So there's two fights in a row. There's the bat and cave spider. It shouldn't be too bad. go and miss. Damn it. <laughs> Stupid bat. Just dodging my attacks. There you go. Go again. There. There. Earth element. Lead. <laughs> and you do the scatter shot, and then you war blade. Oh, we got some nice stuff. Stone cutter. It's actually the weapon I wanted to make, but I don't actually need it anymore because it got better. Um, 
Physical defense, magic defense, stamina. I think I'll give this to Gully. Minor use only. Oh, that's a different bridge, okay. Spider. It won't live long. This cave slime will live until this time. Which is not very long at all. Uh, don't forget the loot. We need all the loot we can get. Let's have you heal for a bit. And then you do Rage Wave. problems at all. There's a wolf over this way. Oh. That can go to garrison. More attack power. Definitely. Alright. More lice a lot. Um... We have burst, so maybe we can get this Lysolot's tracker very quickly. <coughs> 106. Okay, that's actually not as much as I was hoping for. Okay. Well, to counter that, let's turn. They're gonna attack her anyway. It's not too bad. Punch the bat. Punch this guy. Knock him out. Get rid of the bat. Done. Everyone 
nine levels up. The perks. Did I want to give you... I think I want preemptive healing. Just have some healing happen all the time. Uh, but I want to have points back for defend too. Do you I'll wait for it again. Balefire Cavern. Do we go in here? Here's a torch could be lit with something. We've got Flynn. What is this? Nothing happens. All these torches. Runes at the base of the statue give the following inscription. From the heart of the mountain, the spark that made the world shall light the mighty forge. Bend fire, bend steel, bend the ties that bind mortal to magic. Forge the tools of peace, forge the tools of death. Let the tools of men bring them their fate. Hmm. But how much flint do I have? How can I see that? Eleven. Oh, the Fire Lord's Ember. How many torches are there? Two, three, four, five, eight. Can I do anything here? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. I have one. I need one more. I guess I'll come back here when I have one more flint. Let's check out this mine. Okay, I can't. Don't have the key. Guess we're doing the wolves. The, the path of fangs, rather. Oh, it's a dungeon. I think I... Mm. That will take a while probably, so I'm gonna end the stream here. Um, otherwise I'll be going for another hour probably, which I don't really want to do. Um, so let's see... Who else is streaming right now?
no one I know is streaming. <laughs> um, probably because of the Yoxcast Jingle Jam. Probably. Um, well, I can just end the stream there, I guess. It's not too much of a problem. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, as always. I will be playing more of this game um, tomorrow. So hopefully I'll see you then. Otherwise, I'll see you some other, other time. I'm really enjoying this. So, um, well, I hope you are too. Uh, it's a nice game. I like it. So yeah, I'll see you some other time. Have a good one. Bye.